Hello and welcome. In this lesson, which is part two of the two-part series, we will discuss about how to install PyFluent and its necessary prerequisites using the conventional Pythonic approach. If you have already followed the ANSYS Python Manager approach outlined in part one of this lesson to install PyFluent and other required packages, you can skip this video. Let's get started. Before using PyFluent, it is necessary to download and install Python if it is not already installed on your system. Here is the official website for downloading Python. PyFluent supports Python 3.7 and later. The best practice is to install the second newest Python version so as to ensure that it is fully compatible with the third-party libraries and applications. So let's download Python 3.10 version. Once you have downloaded the python executable file, run it as an administrator. During the installation process, you will be asked to select various options. On the first wizard page, make sure to select the add python to path checkbox before proceeding with the installation. Adding python to the system path allows you to run python from the command prompt or terminal without having to navigate to the directory where python is installed. This is particularly useful when you want to run Python scripts or launch Python-based applications from any directory on your system. After completing the installation, you will reach the last wizard page, which indicates that Python has been installed successfully. Follow the instructions provided on this page to disable the path length limit if you have long file paths. Now, to install the three API packages under the PyFluent umbrella, you will need to open the command prompt. In the address bar of the file explorer, type cmd to open the command prompt and then enter these commands one by one to install the core, parametric and the visualization packages respectively. The commands will be displayed on the screen for you to follow. These are the version numbers of the packages installed. Note that the latest versions are automatically installed and these version numbers could be different for you based on the new releases and updates. To check version number, you can simply type pip freeze in command prompt and hit enter. Alternatively, you can create and activate a virtual environment before installing the API packages. A virtual environment is like a separate room for each project where you can install only the packages needed for that project without affecting other projects or the main system. Activating a virtual environment is like entering that room so you can use the packages installed in that environment. However, for simplicity, we will not be creating any virtual environments in this course. If Jupyter Notebook is not installed on your local system, you can install it by typing the command pip install Jupyter in the command prompt. Once it is installed, you may launch it by issuing the command Jupyter Notebook. The Jupyter Notebook will open in the default browser. Additionally, for Jupyter Notebook sessions, it is advisable to install the Trim and IPY widgets libraries as they facilitate interactive graphical user interfaces within the Jupyter Notebook. Note that all the steps for installation are more or less the same for both Windows and Linux, except that we will be using terminal on Linux instead of command prompt. Additionally, we must explicitly set environment variable on Linux for the installed release to point to the appropriate ANSYS installation folder while it should be automatically set on Windows. With this, we come to an end of this lesson on PyFluent installation and we hope you are now equipped with the essential tools to dive deeper into the world of PyFluent.